Hi guys, so now I'm going to show you how to um, put this into Excel. So you know how to get the variant, how to get the people that you want. Now I'm going to run this for January this year. So January 1st to January 30th, 2008. For Australia, for the people that are putting the variant, I'm going to say go. It's going to give me a month of information. There it is. And the next thing that you can do, given that it's a lot of information here, lots of columns as you can see, lots of information that is not useful, I actually saved for you a layer that will actually make more sense. Yeah, I'm not going to show you how to save a layer, not important, but I'm going to show you that it exists. So the way to get a layer, once you're in this screen, is you click on Settings at the top, Layer, Choose, and in there there's a list of layers that you can pick, and there is one called SCE, SCE Timesheet Report, yeah, SCE Report, and the description says SCE Timesheet Report. You click on that, and it automatically shrinks the data into the columns that, that you guys need to be able to look at, rather than every single column that it's available, yeah. Now you can put this into Excel. Um, so the way you put this into Excel is you click on that little button there, local file, you go, and then it brings up this little window, and you go spreadsheet, and you go OK. It's going to ask you again for the place where you're going to put it, so I'm going to say the desktop, and I'm going to call this Melbourne C's Jan 08 timesheets go save generate and it's going to generate that report into excel so i can now go to my desktop i find the report which is just down here saved i'll double click on it and it opens up my report yeah now a little bit of playing around in here again i'll do what i normally do i click in there i adjust all the columns i can delete that first column don't need it i can delete those rows at the top don't need them and I can delete this row number two, which is just underneath the headings. I don't need that either. Now I can turn that into bold. I can put some filters, data filter, auto filter. And now I can start playing with my data. Yeah. So I've got, first I've got date. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so you can see it. First I've got date. Um, I've got the absence when the absence ends and you can see in there some dates clearly these two columns these two rows in here are absences and you'll see that this person took from the 2nd to the 4th of January and to the 2nd to the 3rd of January that was Karen and Sean Law yeah uh, you can see the employee number you can see the name you can see the total hours that's the hours that they've done you can see the project they've done them in you can see the project description so that's a number and that's a name uh, you can see the network description where they put them, put the hours under. So in this case, it was briefing and commissioning plan. You can see coordinating, editing, etc. Sean was an editor back then. Uh, you can see the type of activity it was, yeah, meeting, etc., etc. You can see an attendance description here. This is when they don't do time against projects. It's an attendance description. So you can see they put time against meetings and HR, I mean, etc. You can see the status, 30. And approved in this case or 20 or 10 or whatever you can see the name of the supervisor and the number and you can see the day that it was action so what day it was actually approved yeah so that's the approval date the date at the beginning is the date of the actual timesheets being submitted okay so now you can start playing with this data now how do you play with this data well for example, if I want to know all the projects that Rebecca worked on in January, I select first Rebecca here, yeah, and then I say, give me all the non-blanks. And then it shows me that she worked on China, Japan, and Tokyo for the period of January, yeah. And the total hours in that period was, and like I said before, you can add that up at the bottom there, it was 27.5 hours, or like I said to you before, you can actually put a subtotal at the top here, you can insert a row and put a subtotal at the top of the hours and say add my hours for me, yep, so there's a few things you can do in Excel. If I wanted to know how much time she put against non-project stuff, then I can actually go give me blanks in here and it shows me all the staff matters, meetings, staff matters, 
meetings, etc. See research list management, etc. Et and it tells me the total of that as well. Yeah. So in this one, you can very quickly understand the utilization rate of a person, or you can understand how many hours they've put against projects versus non-project, or project or, or, or HR admin versus guidebook publishing, etc., etc. You can dissect the data in whichever way you want to do it.